With all these talks about engine swaps and how engine swaps are good for Fox bodies, how this engine swap makes more power than that engine swap and yada, yada, yada. How many of you guys know that this swap, this engine, and this driveline is actually just as popular for other vehicles as some of the current swaps are for Fox bodies? Curious about what I'm talking about? Stick around, man. We're gonna get into some details. So what's up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dan, this is Neo Mustangs, and this is my Fox Body Mustang channel. As most of you guys know, engine swapping isn't really a new thing with Fox Bodies. But that's not really what we're here to talk about is the Fox Body swap itself. But we're here to actually talk about some of the vehicles that this swap went in that were not a Fox Body. Now before some of you guys give me hell in the comments about it, if I missed one in this video, make sure you guys hit that, uh, that comment section below and let me know some of the other swaps that might be out there. But I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna, we're gonna rewind. We're gonna go back to when we dyno dad's car a couple weeks ago in this video right here. Now while I was at the dyno, I shot about a two minute video on a car that had a Fox body swap that I didn't even see coming. It's gonna be epic. Let's go check out this video. Figured while I was here at the dyno, I'd go ahead and make a quick vlog on, not dad's car, but check this out. There is a BMW. Now this is a gentleman from Cleveland, apparently one of the customers here at TI Dyno. Um, looks like we have a turbo BMW with nitrous. Is that right? I don't know. It's pretty cool. I see a crossover, but I do not see a turbo. It's a pretty cool little build. They used an A9L. You know, you got a quarter horse. You know, they're using an A9L computer, which is cool. But this isn't a BMW. This is an old school BMW with a T5. Pretty cool little setup here. It might be just the exhaust. You know what I mean? The way they have to run their exhaust. That's what I think it is, because, I mean, there's a nitrous thing in there but that thing is badass i dig it i like engineering and for once somebody used the 302 swap i guess it's a pretty popular swap in in, in these old older school uh bmws i bet that thing goes fast i bet it's, it's got some got some big it up now that was some cool shit wasn't it a BMW with a 302 motor. It had the driveline of a Fox body, the EFI, the A9L. It came into the dyno because apparently it had nitrous and I think it had a supercharger or a turbo or they were trying to do something with it. Well, nonetheless, it was the first time I've actually seen a 302 in person inside of a BMW car. Now, apparently this is a swap in the BMW community that's been around for a long time. Now remember the old websites of corral.net and stangnet and, and some of those, uh, some of the old local forums talking about how people in BMW community stick the 302 Fox body motor. It's driveline complete driveline, pretty much in a BMW. But I never actually got to see it in person until that day. I think I seen a couple at a car show vaguely, but nonetheless, and it's pretty awesome. They, they always talk about how weak our driveline is and how weak our you know t5 is and how weak you know we're just humbled to be able to beat the crap out of our driveline and actually produce very good numbers so some of the other communities out there that, 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 that do the engine swap you know that's something that they like to get into so let's move on because i have about i don't have video on the next handful of them that i'm going to talk about but i'm going to show you some pictures and we're going to talk about it. let's get into it so another good swap that's been around for a long time is the Ford Ranger. Now, the Ford Ranger did not come with a V8 at all. And putting an actual V8 in a Ford Ranger is definitely not something that's new. It's been around since you could actually swap the engine in. And it does pretty much drop right into the truck itself. You know, here are some photos, examples of, uh, of, of the Rangers. And you could supercharge them, you can turbo them, but they do get real tight in the engine bay. 
So doing some sort of swap does take a lot of a little bit of an engineering, especially knowing how small that engine bay really is. So headers, got to run a specific type of headers because it's just so tight. And I heard that like the Explorer headers work really well with that. But nonetheless, Ford Rangers are a very popular Fox body 302 swap that they've been doing for years. Carbureted, fuel injected, etc. Let's keep moving on. One of the next swaps that is one of my favorites is the Mazda Miata. This car has been one of my favorite swaps for a long time. I've actually sold many parts to people that actually have been swapping a Miata over. And, you know, they, they, you know the, tr the transmission, the swap itself, the whole engine just sets right down in there. There's some modifications that need to be done. But here's some example photos, some from radical stuff to simple supercharged stuff to just N.A., and from what I understand, the Miatas are a pretty quick little car on the track and on the street if you can get that tire to hook a little bit due to weight horsepower ratio. So guys, look out for those Mazda Miatas. Now, as far as the years are concerned, I'm not real savvy on what years are, but I'm, I'm gonna say it's in the 90s and early 2000s, but uh, keep an eye in your rear view for a Mazda Miata coming up, from the, uh, coming up from the rear view mirror. You never know when it's got a little Fox body swap in it. You know what I mean? Ha! <laughs> Now this next swap, actually, I found these uh, on the uh, on, on Google itself. Now, to be honest with you, uh, I've never seen it in person, uh, but I guess in about mid '90s, early '90s, you could swap a 302 Fox body driveline into a Subaru Impreza. Um, here's a couple photo example pictures of actually seeing it. Um, again, if you guys know who these people are, or you know have seen this stuff in person, make sure you hit the comments below because this is really cool stuff. And I always like to brag about the Fox body driveline and how much horsepower we've made and how much abuse it takes all the time. And I know I talk a lot in these videos, but this video is just a fun video today, just showing you some of the, some of the, some of the driveline pieces. Instead of talking about putting other engines in the Fox body, what are some of the other cars that steal our engine and driveline? It's pretty humbling if you really ask me. Seeing that on the list, well, that's news to me, my man. Well, let's keep going. So following along the lines of more import cars, um, I have a crowd of, of, of friends of mine that actually do a lot of imports and a lot of 2JZ swapping. So that should just be a dead giveaway right there on what I'm about to talk about. But the next car I'm gonna talk about that uses a Fox body swap quite often is the 240SX, the Nissan 240SX. Now I'm not real savvy on the years as well there too, but I've seen it done. It looks really cool. The, the actual real engine swap for those cars, I think are a 2JZ engine. I think that's the most popular engine swap for that car, but they do have mods to make that 302 driveline transmission and motor fit into a 240SX. So here's some example photos of what I'm talking about. The 240SX is a clean car, and if there's actually an import car that I'd actually drive or modify, it probably would be that one <laughs> with a Fox body driveline, of course. A little on three turbo or some sort of fabricated crap that I came up with. You know, because that's what we do, right? <laughs> but the last one on the list that we're going to talk about today is the Cobra Kid car. Now, again, if I'm missing a swap in, the, in this video, make sure you guys comment below and let me know what swap you've seen a 302 Fox body driveline in another car that wasn't a Ford. So the Cobra kit car by far is a replica car that you can make. And, it, and it's actually a replica of the 65 Shelby. Now there's a couple Roadsters, uh, Mark II, I don't know. There's, there's a handful of actual kits that you can order as a Cobra kit car. And basically you'd be surprised on how many Fox body parts that the Cobra kit car actually uses from the Fox body. I've sold complete transmission swaps to people that were using it. I've sold K members, I guess the radiator, of course the whole engine plus the engine harnesses, the spindles, suspension, 8.8 .8 rear axle. There's a lot of pieces on a Cobra kit car that gets used from a Fox body. And let me tell you what, if, if I had the time and the money and the patience, maybe one day I'll build me a Cobra kit car replica, put a little turbo on it, man. Those things, could you imagine how fast a 2,000 pound Cobra kit car would go in the quarter mile making 500 wheel on a cheap turbo kit? Probably too damn fast to actually drive. That's probably my favorite swap. I saved the best for last because I felt like the Cobra replica kit car was probably my favorite. 
So. All right, guys, so that's all I got for you today. I wanted to show you probably six of the best engine swaps that I've seen. I've Googled, I've seen in person, some I haven't seen, some I've heard about, some I've read about from the 90s and in the early 2000s. I love talking about shit like this because, you know, it's a lot of engineering there. But to give you an update on what's coming up, cheap do-it-yourself turbo kit on dad's car with speed density if you enjoyed the video make sure you guys check these videos out that's coming out we'll be done with this very soon we're doing some mocking up we're doing some cutting some sawing and some adjustment so we'll have dad's car running here very soon so I, I hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you hit the comment below if i missed something or let me know which one you think is your, your favorite i i was super surprised that the impreza i think the miatas probably would be really fun but of course the cobra kit car would be the coolest in my opinion. But make sure you guys check out that join button, the channel membership. It has its perks for being a club member, the emojis and the colored names. We do live stream sometimes on Sundays at 8 o'clock p.m. Make sure you guys hit that bell for notifications so you get notifications when we go live and we put up new videos. I appreciate you watching the video, listen to me ramble, and I hope I got to entertain you tonight. So, as always, guys, I appreciate the watch time. I will see you soon in the next video. Thank you.